Hey my loves, your night to Chloe here, back with a hair vlog. And right now I'm rocking one of my wigs. That's why I've been rocking for this past week. I've just been doing a lot of wigs lately because y'all, my hair I feel has gotten taken a turn for the worse. The thinning, and I, I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but within that fertilizer, virgin hair fur that I was using. For some reason, within the past three months of me using it, it has been like really, really making my scalp itch and irritating. So I had to stop using it. And I don't know what, I don't know what happened, but the hair used to be like a little center, but now the receding has gone back. And I'm contemplating just shaving my whole hair off and starting again. But the good news is, I am going to see my dermatologist. I'm going to see a dermatologist. I talked about her before. She's in the Houston area, but um, and she was highly recommended. Uh, one of my cousins went to her for her for her face when she was having like some acne issues, and then another dermatologist that I spoke to about um, my hair. She recommended her because the other dermatologist lives in a different city. So I'm really excited to see her this Friday. And then on Sunday, I have my hair appointment. So depending on what the dermatologist says, if she says it's some, either way, I'm going to cut my hair off. I have an appointment with my loctician. You know, I'm having a loctuma. She does natural hair, touch up pizzazz. I'm going to go see her on Sunday and just shave it all off. And um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the dermatologist says that some of the alopecia hair loss is treatable. And we'll just go from there. But y'all, it is just, it, it, it hurts. It's very, very hurtful because a woman's hair is her crown. And I haven't been feeling really secure about my hair. Like when I just touch it, it makes me emotional. Like when I just think about it, I'm just like, I don't know if it's age. I don't know if it's hormones, but something is off to where it's receding. So... You're gonna come along with me to see the dermatologist. You're also gonna come along with me to do the big chop. But if you're new, please make sure you subscribe. I'm your girl, Niger Chloe, and um, I'll put the link below where you can follow me on my other hair journeys, how I start off with locks and I decided to unlock my locks. And now I'm just trying to grow my natural hair so I can put locks in because I really, really love my locks. You know, I feel like it gave me a little no, mm, little jazz made me different, but I had to step up some of my wig game. So I have some wigs that I've been rocking, and this is one of them. But a lot of people like this wig because it says very natural looking, and it looks better like when you wet it, and it, the curls are like when you wet it, the curls are tight, and I put some like mousse. But right now, I just wear it to school. I'm missing only one earring. Don't ask me why. The other one fell off. So right now, I'm rocking the one earring gang. But if you're new, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. But yeah, welcome to another Hair Journey vlog and let's see what happens. waiting for her to come in they just took like a the receptionist or the pre-nurse came in asked me some questions took a picture of my hair um i guess i can show you guys you guys have seen it before but um, of course you've seen this part but this is the new part that i feel has receded because it used to be like here but now it's going down here um but what she was telling me was that since there's, I'm limited to what I can do as far as treatment, but hopefully just something can happen today because, like I said, you can see that and it just, it gets really, really sad and I can't use the hair fertilizer anymore because that's irritating my scalp. It's, it just irritates it really, really bad, but I can't wait to see her and hopefully I get to film. You know, a lot of people are private, but I'm hoping, I'm going to ask her if I can film what's going on and we'll just go from there.
well, just finished the appointment and I cried in there. I cried because it was just good to know what the cause is. She called it something called CCCFA, um, Central, um, it has to do with my follicles and it has to do with, I forgot the name of it, but it was a very, very long name, but it basically kind of goes back to what I was saying that I have central um, genetic alopecia. It's in my genes. I have a lot of tightening skin. I have a lot of scar tissue. Um, so what you kind of saw her do was one of the, the treatments to help with the inflammation and, the, um, and to prevent the scarring from getting worse. So I did a steroid injection shot. She um, prescribed for me, which I'm gonna pick up from my pharmacy today. She prescribed for me a tropical ointment. She has prescribed for me a um, shampoo to be using as well and she recommended just doing um, deep oil treatments to in my scalp to just kind of get my hair back. But it just felt good knowing that there is something. So like I said, for the meantime, we can't do anything invasive until I'm ready to do the invasive stuff. Um, we didn't talk about what that was, but we said, well, the, where, the, the stuff I'm going to be doing now is going to help. We got to do a blood work to kind of see if I have any deficiencies. And what I did mention to them that I have an iron deficiency. So yeah, iron does help with hair loss too. So there's a lot, but I, I was, I was happy just to hear that there's hope. Thank God for technology. Thank God for medicine. There's hope. Um, and so I'm going to come back and see her in a month. So within this month, I'm going to just continue doing everything that she said. I am still going to cut my hair off just because for me, it's just going to give me satisfaction. And just make me feel better. You know, so. Yeah, so I'm doing the appointment. Drove an hour. I got some free food though. So I'm going to eat my food, go home, and I have a reunion tonight. So I'm going to put on the good old wig. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hey, hey, good morning, happy Sunday. It is the day of my appointment. My appointment's not till later on this afternoon, so I'm going to go pray the Lord for us, hallelujah, because it's Sunday, go to church with my family, and then at the church, I'll go to my appointment. But I got the shampoo here that I'm gonna have her use in the ointment. Right now my hair's just kind of packed and pulled back, but I have an example of how I want the hair to be, but it depends, I don't know. So I'm gonna get her expertise and see what she thinks. But today's the day. So, follow along with me to church for a little bit and then to my hair appointment. Just got to her place. I had to push the, the appointment back a bit. Some things happened out of my control, but I'm here and she was okay with it. Time to get this hair back to health and let it grow.
Oh, zoom in. Yeah. Ooh, look at that shine. Look at that shine. Shining, 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 shining. Yeah. Ooh, yes, honey. Oh! Wakanda, are you, do you need some people? Do you need some warriors? I'm here. Thank you, mama, for shaping my head correctly when I was a baby because look at this head. It's big, but it's hey. I love it. I'm just getting home now, so I'm going to surprise my kids. They haven't seen it. And I'm gonna see what my mom and dad would say. My dad will probably tease me, like, look at your head, it's big. But no one knows I'm doing it. I told my husband, but he hasn't seen it yet. So let's go inside and get everyone's reaction. Like my head, mommy. No. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, show my dad. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to round up the vlog right here. I'm about to do a um, create a reel. So that's why I put the wig back on because I'm not ready to reveal my new look until after I release this vlog. But overall. I'm so glad I did it overall. I'm thanking my mama for my good shaped head once again. And um, like one of the things that she says, like when she, when she was washing it and she was like using a little brush, she had this little brush thing that she was using after she put the shampoo on. She just kind of massaged my scalp, removed some of the dead stuff. She's like, you can see the dead skin cells on my scalp peeling off. And she was like, that's a good thing because that means the dead skin cells is not gonna stop your hair from growing. We remove those different layers and that allows your hair to breathe, your scalp to breathe. So I'm glad I like the look. Um, you saw some of the responses. My husband likes it. He says I look younger, which yes, I need. But um, just keep on following me along with the journey process. I'm gonna keep on going with her every two weeks. The next time I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna do a deep treatment, which the dermatologist recommended. Um, I did order the rosemary oil that the dermatologist said that's going to come in on Wednesday um, so I can start using that daily but overall I'm just so happy with the process I'm happy that I did it I feel so free like I feel the, the, the earth I can just feel everything on my scalp breathable and I'm just happy I did it and I'm glad that I was able to take that step for myself to go see the dermatologist because Sometimes we make excuses, but you have to do it for yourself. And by me doing it, I'm able to tell my sister who suffers from it. You know, my mom's a little bit older, but at least she kind of knows an idea. Then I also tell my brother, and worst case scenario, if my kids ever get it, I know what to do. But thanks guys for watching. Please make sure you like and, like and subscribe and comment. I would love to hear your comments. Only if they're positive. I don't want to hear no negativity while I'm going to block you. But all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Toodles.